This video will show how to terminate a Cat5e wire. These are the pieces you'll need. The Cat5 wire itself, wire strippers, an RJ45 connector, and a crimp tool. Our first step is to strip the wire. Go back about two inches on the wire and gently score it. We want to cut through this outer shell without cutting the wires inside of it. After you've scored the wire, you should be able to twist it around and pull it off, pull off the outer shell. Next, I like to cut this string to keep everything clean. So use the wire strippers again, cut the string. We now need to untwist each of the pieces. After you've untwisted the wires, we need to get them in the right order. If you have a tool similar to ours, it'll probably list the order you need right on the tool itself. The order is white green, then green, then white orange, then blue, then white blue, then orange, then white brown, and brown. Once you get them in the right order, we need to get them closer together so that they'll fit into the tool. I like to bend them on my fingers to try and get them to act in a uniform manner so that they're all bending and moving together. You want to be sure to keep your wires in the correct order while you're doing this. After you have them pretty close like that, we have to trim the end so that they'll slide into the connector the right way. Simply cut them with the crimp tool. We want to verify the order again at this time. White green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, and brown. We now take the connector, we put the tab, the little clip, face down, and we slide it onto our wires and we push the wires through so that they come out the end of the connector. Again, we want to verify that our order is correct here. White, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, and brown. We now need to insert this into our crimp tool. Fully insert it. And then when you squeeze the handle, this blade will cut the excess wire off. And I like to crimp it a couple times just to make sure we have a secure connection. And then we pull the connector out and that's it. That's how to terminate a Cat5e wire.